Hi, this is Terry Boone. I'm not feeling safe with my dad right now. Come on. Come arrest me. Chilling 911 calls released for the first time documenting a deadly dispatch delay that's now the subject of a federal lawsuit. The family of a man murdered three years ago in his Spring Lake Township home has filed suit against Ottawa County Central Dispatch and several of its employees. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples broke this story when it happened in 2019 and has new information tonight. You depend on 911, but that lifeline was broken in 2019 when Ottawa County Dispatch failed to send a deputy to a domestic conflict between a father and son. The deadly result led to discipline, a new policy, and now a federal lawsuit, all prompted by two 911 calls that laid out the timeline of a tragedy. Hi, this is Terry Boone. I'm not feeling safe with my dad right now. Come on. Come arrest me. 6.15, the morning of December 1st, 2019, the call came into Ottawa Central Dispatch from the Spring Lake Township home of 64-year-old James Boone. His son, Kenneth, who was staying with him, made the call. He's not acting like himself. Your dad is or you aren't? My dad isn't. Okay. He's threatening me. No, I'm not. He's scaring me. No, I'm not. He's, he's, he's scaring the out of me right now. Damn, he's threatening me. Will you hurry up? James Boone told the dispatcher his 25-year-old son, Kenneth, was off the medication he took for his mental illness. The dispatcher confirmed there were no weapons, no children, and no drinking nor drug use had taken place. Has anybody been physically assaulted? Not yet, no. Not yet. Prophetic. James Boone had about an hour to live. Sir, I'm going to get an officer out that way for you. Why would he say that he wants to be arrested? Because he knows that he could do something bad to me. An internal investigation later found the call taker, Nicole Wentworth, never dispatched a deputy. Instead, the call sat in the computer until Kenneth Boone dialed 911 again, one hour and nine minutes after his first call. Ottawa County 911. Hi, I killed my dad. Who is this? Kenneth Boone. Kenneth? Kenneth, what's going on there? Come lock me up. Uh, you said you killed your dad? Yeah. How did you do that? With a f***ing hammer. Kenneth Boone had long struggled with mental illness, according to a lawsuit filed recently by another Boone son against Ottawa County Dispatch and seven of its employees. The lawsuit notes Kenneth had a history of severe mood swings, violence, threatening behavior, and had been involuntarily hospitalized just one month earlier. There had been prior 911 calls to five recent ones, including a father-son domestic. I'm going to finish my f***ing dad off right now. What's that? I'm going to kill my f***ing dad. I, did you say you were going to kill him or you did kill him? I'm going to right now. What followed a vicious beating documented by the dispatcher who wrote, can hear him hitting someone or something in the background, a lot of screaming. At 7.35, one hour and 20 minutes after the first call, deputies found Kenneth Boone walking the neighborhood, covered in blood, a bloody hammer still in his hand. It's a tough job. Uh, it really is. In 2019, Ottawa Dispatch Executive Director Peter McWaters told us the call was inappropriately coded as priority two mental health. We feel it should have been coded as a priority one domestic. And again, this is hindsight, uh, you know, with, with the value of time and investigation. Uh, again, our dispatchers are handling multiple calls. And deputies were all tied up on that snowy morning. No one available to respond to the miscoded Priority 2 on Pawnee Drive until it was too late. I've told employees here uh, we don't blame them for what occurred. Obviously, there's one individual that's to blame for what occurred. Kenneth Boone pleaded guilty but mentally ill to murder. He died from cancer in November in prison. Two dispatchers received written reprimands for the incident, and dispatch created a new policy. If a priority two call has been holding for a certain amount of time, dispatchers are required to contact the sheriff's department for further guidance. Back to you.